Hey there, I shot a review of the Flare Portable Espresso Maker a couple months ago and I've had a lot of questions about the Flare itself, but then some friends of mine who know that I also have the Rock asked me how it compares to the Rock. Um, so I wanted to shoot a, a quick video showing some pros and cons of each. This is my daily driver here, the Breville Dual Boiler uh, with the Mazer Super Jolly Grinder. But when I'm on the go, um, I have typically traveled with something more portable. I used to use the My Pressy Twist, uh, and then I had the Rock for a while, and now I've got the Flare. Um, just wanted to show some differences between the two devices. The Rock comes with a more traditional portafilter that you would see on more commercial machines. Uh, and I actually prefer the more traditional portafilter setup. I'm just used to it from my Breville Dual Boiler and other commercial machines I've had in the past. Um, so if you're used to that type of setup, you're going to prefer this type of portafilter. You basically put your coffee grinds into the portafilter, you tamp it. Um, with They include this tamper, which I don't love. Uh, it's got rounded edges, and so it doesn't make a very uh, even tamp. So I would, I would recommend buying a, a different tamper for the rock if I were you. But you basically put your coffee grinds in there, and then you lock the portafilter into place. Fill the water reservoir with hot water. Raise these arms gently and slowly, otherwise water will gush out of the top and spill over. And then you depress the arms slowly. Um, there should be some force on them, but it's not a strongman competition. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys a shot pulled from both of these today, both using the Mazer Super Jolly Grinder, but I, I dialed in um, a specific grind for both the Rock and the Flare. So the Flare has a less traditional portafilter. You basically have the brew chamber, um, and then you, you put your coffee grinds down in here, and you put the um, screen on top, the shower screen on top like that. This is a really cool bottomless portafilter that they are now including, I think, in all of the signature models. Uh, this is a two-in-one, so you basically have a more traditional portafilter spout here that just kind of uh, funnels all of the coffee out of one spout, or you can pop that off and you've got a bottomless portafilter which is really cool and really, really helpful for diagnosing your shots. You can see if there's, if you have channeling or if you've got an uneven grind, uh, or sorry, an uneven tamp, you can kind of diagnose that with a bottomless portafilter, which is what I use uh, both here and also on my Breville machine. That's a really cool feature with the Flare. So a little bit of assembly acquired with the Flare, but another thing that's cool is you have this stainless um, brew chamber here, um, and then also the stainless water chamber as well which is great because you can preheat this device. So what I do is I boil my water, I take my stainless steel piston, I put it in the bottom of the water chamber, stand this upright, and I'll fill this with hot water. So I can preheat this, and then when I'm ready to brew, have my coffee in here, place the water chamber on top, fill this with hot water, put in the stainless steel piston, and this is also an option. I think it comes with a plastic piston, uh, but you can upgrade to the stainless piston if you want, which I would definitely recommend. But you put the piston in and then you pull the arm down. So a similar operation as the rock, but you only have one arm um, to pull down here and it produces your shot below. Some cool accessories that uh, were included was this funnel that goes right over the portafilter basket. Uh, and then I also got the stainless tamper, which is a great upgrade as well. Um, so what I like better about the Flare is that it seems to produce more consistently um, great espresso shots. Uh, I don't know if it's because you can preheat. Um, the rock is very difficult to preheat. Um, and the, the, the water chamber is plastic, so you could maybe pull a couple of um, just shots of hot water through it to preheat. I've seen some people do that, but it's not quite as easy to preheat as this, so the temperature consistency of the flare I think is much better. Um, another thing I've seen people do on the rock is pull it up, pull the shot, and then pull it up again, and then continue to pull the shot. And I just can't imagine that doing good things for your shot. I would imagine the suction that you're producing by pulling these arms back up is gonna pull that puck apart and create all sorts of channeling. So I don't know that I would recommend that. Whereas the flare, it's basically one motion. You pull the lever down, and you're producing a shot. So I seem to be able to get more consistent shots out of the flare. Um, you can get some really great shots out of the rock as well. I think you have to work a little bit harder um, to dial it in, but once you get there, it does produce great shots. 
In terms of portability, the Rock is basically as compact as it gets. You, know, you can pull the porta filter out for travel, but this is it. It comes with a tin that you can store it in. Um, so you could fit this in a backpack or a carry-on, but it's, it's gonna be quite large. Um, the nice thing about the flare is it comes apart like this. Everything packs up into one zip carry case. So this can fit in my backpack very easily, which I absolutely love. There's also room in here for a digital scale um, that I bring with me on my trip so that I weigh everything out. So the portability of the flare uh, is really quite remarkable. Um, this thing has been really, really great for me since I've had it. I've had it for about a year and a half now and I've bought some different upgrades along the way like the um, stainless steel piston and um, stainless steel tamper, but I love this device. These are both great devices. I think if you're using them at home, you're gonna be really happy with them. And I think on the go, you're gonna be even happier with the flare because of the portability um, and because of the, the ability to preheat and to kind of do some more fine tuning than you can do with the Rock. But both great machines, those are my pros and cons, my take on both of these devices after having used both of them for over a year each. Hope that's helpful. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment and I will do my best to answer you as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching.